It's early September in Oklahoma, and during this time our thoughts turn to reestablishing cool season lawns, but also in terms of our weed control practices, it's an important time of year to realize what we can control and what we can't control. So it's a great time to take notes and correct our programs for the coming year, as well as to think about our programs for control of winter annual weeds. We've recently had some rains in late August and early September, and this has led to the germination of some of the winter annual or cool season weeds. And in this segment, we'll be covering the germination of those and then also some of the large summer annuals and warm season perennials that it's too late to control, but it's time for a proper identification of so we can improve our programs in the future. The first winter annual that I'd like to show in this segment is henbit. And henbit germinates anywhere from uh, late August through January. We first find it germinating in the cool sheltered areas on the north sides of tree lines and until it produces its first true leaves it's difficult to, to see which winter annual it is. But you'll look for the crenate shaped leaves of henbit. It will have square stems. It's a member of the mint family but we won't be able to actually detect that the stems are square until uh, three or four weeks after germination. But this is henbit it's a very common winter annual broadleaf in Oklahoma and in very late winter, early spring, it'll produce the very characteristic purple flowers. Common chickweed is a very widespread winter annual uh, broadleaf plant in Oklahoma and throughout the U.S. and with our rains in late August, it also germinated and here we see the first true leaves on common chickweed. Yellow foxtail is a summer annual warm season grass in Oklahoma and in early September it's easy to see the seed head of it. It's a prolific producer of seed. This plant germinated in the March or April time frame and then it'll be killed out by the first frosts in October or November. Prostrate Spurge is a summer annual in Oklahoma. It's a member of the Euphorbia family and because of its heat and drought tolerance we can oftentimes find it growing in the cracks in sidewalks or in uh, gravel driveways as well as the lawn. And many times during a drought it'll be one of the few plants in the lawn that actually stays green during the, the drought when our turf grass has already turned tanned from drought stress. So this is prostrate spurge, a summer annual, and it germinated in the April-May time frame and it will be killed out by the frosts in the fall. Another plant found in droughty soils or in the cracks of sidewalks is the porjo plant, which can be a summer annual to a short-lived perennial. It has a sister species, Virginia buttonweed, but porjo is much more drought tolerant, so we see it spread out more over the entire state rather than in the southeastern corner of the state. Now, porjo and Virginia buttonweed will have similarly shaped elongated leaves, and both will have white cross-shaped flower petals in the axils of the leaves, but the flowers of porjo are considerably smaller than those of Virginia buttonweed. Yellow wood sorrel is a summer annual in Oklahoma. Its scientific name is Oxalis stricta, and it's closely related to the ornamental Oxalis plants that we might grow inside of our house or in our garden. Dallas grass is a warm season perennial clumping grass with very short rhizomes. It has very broad leaves and it's very difficult to control in our landscapes. It's a problem because not only texturally does it interfere with the visual quality of our lawn, but also it can throw up these enormous seed heads just the day after mowing and it can look like it's been quite some time since we've mowed our lawn. Common throughout Oklahoma is small or smooth crabgrass and it's a digitaria Ischemum is the scientific name, and the digitaria are called as such because the inflorescence or flower looks like the digits on a hand. Here you see the crabgrass seed head next to the seed head of Dallas grass. On the left of your screen is prostrate knotweed. On your right is prostrate spurge. People commonly confuse both of these prostrate plants. They're both heat and drought tolerant in Oklahoma and widely found throughout the state. One of the greatest identification features to separate the two was the milky white sap of the broken stem of the spurge. 
The prostrate knotweed has a clear sap. Also, the upper stems of the prostrate spurge will have either a pink or a red coloration, whereas prostrate knotweed will simply be green. While the late summer days of late August and early September are a great time to identify summer annuals and the warm season perennials, they're actually a poor time to control them. So think about the proper timing of pre-emergent herbicides that are done in late winter or early spring, usually a split application program. So the first application would be in the January to early February time frame, and the second application of the pre-emergent would be in an eight to 12 weeks later. You can catch the warm season annuals with an early post-emergent application of herbicide in May, but once we get into the hot days of summer or late summer and the plants are large and they're actually quite hardened, they're very difficult to control. So at this time of year, it's time to learn about the plants, uh, be able to identify them, and think about next year's control programs for your warm season annual weeds. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.